Hello, everybody. I'd like to introduce you to a brand new feature that I think you're going to really like, which is custom permissions. So first of all, I'll talk about how things used to be, and then I'll show you how things have become. So first of all, if you wanted to configure permissions for various uh, kinds of roles, you would go to admin policies. And in admin policies, you would see lots of very specific features. And they basically are features that were requested over the years from various customers. So for example, under the administrators area of policies, you would see some things specific to organizations and very specific to certain, um, certain permissions. For example, if you don't want someone to be able to access a revenue model from inside an organization, you would click this box. And while that was quite powerful, it really wasn't a general um, approach. In a general approach, you would have a list of all the roles and all the things that they could do, and you would go through the matrix of permissions and roles and decide who can do what. Similarly, if you go to instructors, there'd be some very specific features, very handy, but not done in a generalized way. So now if I go to the new admin permissions area, what you will see here is what has been available for the last few months, which is a read-only version of the more general permissions grid. So I can go inside here and for all the different roles, instructor, learner, manager, et cetera, I can see a list of all the permissions and who can do what. And in addition to having the permissions matrix for people who are in the default organization, we also have a separate grid, which is how you can control those permissions for everyone who is in a sub organization. So those are listed down here. And similarly for course level permissions, like if you are an assistant in a course, this is what you can do. If you are an instructor in a course, there, there, then here is what you can do. There's a separate grid for all of those permissions. And just like site level permissions, you can also configure them on a sub-organization basis. And before I forget, under the organizations tab, you can go into a specific organization and see the permissions for people in that specific organization. So we've got very fine grained control over who can do what, depending on which organization they are in. But until today, these were read-only grids. They were not writable. So let me show you what you can do now. So if you go under admin permissions, you can now click on migrate to custom permissions. Now, before I click this, what I'll say is that these read-only grids that you can see are identical to the permissions that you currently have under admin policies. So when you want to migrate to the new permission system, all of your existing permissions are automatically copied across in a very high fidelity way. So I can click here, migrate to custom permissions. It takes just a few seconds to do. And it says migration to the new systems has been done. So now what you can do is you can go to a permissions grid and you can click edit. That's the key part here. So as a just a silly example, notice that there's the search tab at the top here. I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to disable site search for all account types and then say save. And what you'll notice here is that the search icon just disappeared for me for my account. Even though I'm uh, an administrator and an instructor and a few others, it went away. And you'll notice now that all of those green tick boxes have now become Xs, and it's showing you this is the overridden, the default permissions. And if I wanna go ahead and reestablish those permissions, I can just go across here and click save and now the search thing will come back again and it's not like some systems where it takes it says like wait an hour for permissions to kick in when you change those permissions they happen instantly for every single user in your entire site so now what you can do is you can do really fine grained permissions for all the different account types in your site for people in the top level organization and in the sub organization and for courses. And to give you an idea of what we're going to do with this particular system, 
we only built in, in the first initial launch, the, the main permissions that we already allow to be, um, to be customized. But we had one customer who said during the, the beta, they said, we'd like uh, users to be able to uh, either configure or not configure their notifications. So it only took us a couple of hours to add this new permission and apply it to our entire system. So the general idea is we want to release it. And then every month, we're going to continue to add new permissions that you can configure simply based on uh, customer feedback. The last thing I'm going to leave you with is that the follow on act from this is going to be custom roles. So just to give you a taste of what is coming. If you go to under account roles, here are all the roles that we have built into our system. And there are some like mentor, for example, that you can enable or disable. But fairly soon, you're going to be able to come into admin roles and add a new role. And this is going to be a super instructor. And this super instructor is going to inherit the functionality from an instructor, but then have additional roles. And I can save this. And now you can see I've got a super instructor, which then I can configure the permissions for that instructor. So very powerful features. Custom permissions is, I think, a, a big new uh, offering in our platform. And then coming fairly soon, you know, we still need to do a lot of testing, will be custom roles. So I hope you really enjoy this new feature and we'll give you more information when custom roles is available as well. Have a great day.